And today, like I promised, we're gonna be getting cooking, baby. Wait, sorry. Let me just stop you guys there. I want to say, like I'm I really said, sorry that I look like a dragon. We will be cooking. But let's get on with the, the video, channel. shall we? I want to get you looks right. We will be cooking apple crumble today. Nice, quick apple crumble. While we're doing that, we're gonna have a little chat. Now that I've been really full more, and you guys know that. I'm here and I mean business. I'm gonna get real with you guys. Let me not know. Let mm -hmm. did you get it? Do you see the fumble of the English? Cool. Moving on swiftly. There's things that you people do that annoy us. Us being girls. I'm gonna give you guys the job. Yeah. I've got questions here that um, people have asked me. And yeah, so I'm not gonna waste too much time. So in my own in my own in my own in my apple crumble i actually like to use oats a lot of people don't but i'll let you know that's your business um i use flour normal flour self-raising raisin i don't give a toss um you need to be able to measure out your stuff with a scale you need your sugar here i use normal sugar cinnamon this is also optional but i put cinnamon not a lot just a little bit unsalted butter i feel like if you put salted butter it changes the apple crumble flavor you know what i mean it's not as sweet it becomes like a biscuit and we don't want biscuit do we no cool so what i've actually done off camera is i've chopped up my apples i've diced them up quite a lot of apples i don't know is it just me yeah when you're eating apple crumble yeah i like minimum apples i like it more crumble comment down below how you prefer your apple crumble but I prefer mine quite crumbly, more the the biscuit thingy than I do of the apple. But I just gotta show you guys, you know, how to normally make it. Orange juice, the best. Cool. Get your apples chopped up. Have boiling water at the ready. Pour that in there. Turn on your thing. Your, your thing, I mean your caca. Okay. Have your caca on. Put your water in. Mine's quite hot, so it's gonna start boiling real quick. Shake that all about. I don't normally add sugar into the apples. A lot of people don't, but I think this is just weird. How can you not add sugar to the apples? How can this you is actually where I realised. Cool. I talk wow. too much. I'm sure yeah. you guys understand what Let to do. Let me get into these questions, shall we? I talk this much. First question. I'm talking for no reason. I want to really try and Let's get straight in to the videos. To the videos. To the videos. Okay, I'm oh, how to know if you are in a toxic relationship? Firstly, I want you guys to know that I'm not good at all this relationship advice. What boyfriend do you see me with? I need to take it easy, otherwise I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Anyway, how to know if you're in a toxic relationship? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, kids. That question is very personal. In the sense of adding cinnamon mad right? A little teaspoon. It's a teaspoon. I don't know the name of these different spoons. In Russia. Um, yeah, um, I'm not the best person for these relationships because I feel like with me, I'm a girl that doesn't normally see the signs. Um, if I'm talking to someone, yeah, if I'm talking to someone, I never see the signs. I'm just stupid for that. Quite silly, but it's life. I don't know why these apples are bubbling so vigorously. What's going on? What's wrong? Oh. With this question, it's a bit hard for me to tell you guys because I'm always, it's my friends always getting on to me 
telling me, oh, that's a red flag. Da -da 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 -da. That's a red flag. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so it's kind of a bit hard for me to be able to tell you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. Cool, so just mix that in. So let that be boiling while you start to measure out the other stuff. So I like to add a bit more sugar so it doesn't bubble over. Yeah, when it comes to, um, on a serious note, when it comes to someone and realise whether they're toxic or not, or actually being in a fully fledged relationship with this person, I feel like when you're looking at whether they're toxic or not, it's down to what you see as toxic. For example, there are girls that I know that really enjoy the the guy that's really controlling, you know, because it shows they care. More fucking Some stupid. Girls, that might be a complete and utter sign of toxicity. Yeah? So, it's literally down to you. <clears throat> okay. Well, it's literally down to you and what you see as um toxic what makes you uncomfortable what doesn't make you uncomfortable for all you girls that feel like you're in a toxic relationship you really need to listen to your gut listen to your intuition um because your intuition is what's going to tell you whether this is good for you or not and i'm a bit of a hypocrite because i never listen to my intuition and it's really bad i need to really work on that and um you guys should too because it's the way and it's the the voice in your head that tells you sis this is not a good one. Before I move on to the second question, let's move on to the next bit. We need a bowl that I haven't got for some reason. Sure that this is dry because this is our flour. We don't want our flour sticking to the bowl. Cool. What we need to do is we need to weigh out. Hold on. Let me check my measurements. Bear with. Um, by the way, the next question is what boys do that annoy girls? Be ready for it. Be ready for it. I'm gonna give, they are very annoying. So I'm gonna say five, but I won't go into too much depth so we can get through all the questions. Cool, so for the crumble now, this is what we're making. We're making the crumble. We need 250 grams, 250 grams. Like I said, I do like mine quite crumbly. It's down to you on how you like your crumble. There's widows out there that prefer more apple to crumble. It's a personal problem and I really think they should check it out. You're gonna pour that into your big pot. Yeah? Pour that into your big pot. Quickly measure out your sugar so we can get this going. Sugar, we need 110 grams. Blood, fire. That's a lot, sis. But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Cause I like having health problems. Woo -hoo. That's a damn lot. Fuck me. So, sugar goes in. And then we need 170 grams. Of butter, I've destroyed my mommy's cookie. Serious consequences. Consequency. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, just for a little bit of flavor. The oats come in here. Remember, I only use a little bit, but it's optional. Very optional. I literally use the smallest amount. Literally that amount. I just like how it makes it really clump together. Just rub that, get the heat, the steam from the pot going. So again, make it a little bit softer, easier to mold. Cool. Add that in. You know what to do next. And I'm going to talk to you while I do it. Cool. Roll up the sleeves. So yeah, make sure you wash your hands, by the way. Dirty tramps. Um... Cool. The question was, what boys do that annoy girls? Let me let you let us know, innit? Cool. You boys, yeah. Number one. Number one, number one. You guys literally think 
that us girls should be let's talk in the in the sense of a talking stage now boys feel like a girl should have to work for them and it not be both ways or the other way around in particular i'm pretty sure that when our parents were um younger and courting i'm sure the man worked for the woman why do you, these idiots of this generation think that i'm gonna work for them i don't get it i really want to know i want to know why how how would that work you're the one that's gonna ask me to be your girlfriend if you I just come out and work for you that's lying on the mattress on the floor in your house I don't even need to say it. You already know. You boys will be wearing Can I do Goose? Moncler. And what's that stupid name? Moose and Knuckle. Whatever you want to call it. You guys will be wearing these top, top boy brands here. Yeah? You guys will be wearing this £900, £800 jacket. But your mum's still in hood. You guys will be driving Mercedes around. Like Mercedes Benz. Audi. You guys will be driving all these cars around. But your mum still has to get the bus to go do the shopping. Is it fair? I want you to really deep it. Is it fair? And I'm sick and tired of... I'm, I'm sick and tired of seeing it. Can't wait to get you out of the hood, mum. But you know you could have done it by now. But you're being selfish. You want to go on like you've got so much love for your mum. Mama, my mum's my queen. My mum's my this. My mum's my that. <laughs> you don't respect your mom anyhow you don't respect your mom in any way shape or form why because you're still running around doing this gang thing if you really cared for your mom you wouldn't want her to go through pain sorry i definitely thought i saw myself oh, it's midnight just know that you guys are driving and if at this point girls they're always going to be driving so girls i'm telling you you just got to find your jarring you know your little jar and somebody you just gotta find that we're still young we got time don't rush it enjoy your youth like i'm actually young so enjoy your time single and bloody mingle do you get it cool question number three <sighs> my girlfriend's starting a wig business but her lace is something else what do i do you my friend or in a sticky situation. Don't cry, don't beg. It's all over. You've already done the most fakeness you can do. You've not told her that her hair is bad. But you're still going to post her snap. Oh, my girl's better than yours. Is she really does? I've been in a relationship with my girl for three years. She's fat now, so I'm losing interest. But I still love her. Mmm, is it? All is well. She's fat now. I'm back. So, we are now at a point where our apples are nearly done softening. Our crumble is ready. I'm just going to wash my hands and then we're going to put it into our baking tray. Mm. Okay, cool. We'll move on to the next question. My best friend gets all the attention from guys. I'm very jealous and insecure. What do I do? You need to ask yourself this why do you care that she's getting all the male attention actually let me not be biased here let me not be stupid let me not be silly as females all of us would like that male attention yeah cool let's be honest here we do we like it however you need to now think to yourself why is my friend getting all of this male attention why is she do not bother worrying about the attention that other girls get um, from guys. Because you never know what those girls are up to. Yeah, she might be your best friend. But, yo, I'm pretty sure there's things that she's not told you. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to say that she's a slug or anything. But, boy, you never know what she's doing like behind these doors. Like, you don't know. Are you there with her every night? Are you? You're not so don't watch that you don't know what's making these boys attracted to her people might just think they like her yash you know how these stupid boys think you know how these boys I'm think i'm about to scoop my apples into here into my tin and then i'm gonna cover it in my crumble so 
yeah answering your question on what to do if you have a toxic friend i'm not gonna say stop being their friend because i know it's not as easy as that you've got a lot of um things riding on that friendship you know what i mean this person is your friend you guys have shared i'm assuming good memories too but you just feel like they're just not it for you and i've been there sis i've been there every i think every female has been there so at this point all i can actually advise you darling is to give this sorry i'm making hella noise one second yeah all i can advise you darling is to really if this person is your friend and you told them look i'm feeling this type of way i feel like you're not there for me or da -da 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 -da, whatever the issue may be if they're your friends or if they're your friends sorry they will understand they will listen and if that's not the case then sis you already know what's good if this person is not willing to listen sis you know what's good i don't even need to tell you you know that this is not where you're meant to be anymore and this is not a relationship that's worth clinging on to if they can't sit down and have a conversation with you about your friendship can y'all see my crumble can you see my little chunky bits that i like mm, beautiful so i've got my oven on <sighs> i'm just not even gonna bother um flipping the camera because i see but i've got my crumble here it doesn't take too long to cook actually yeah, i think it takes like 20 minutes but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this little chit chat that we've had today i hope you guys um Okay, so I'm going to need someone to own up and tell oh. me who threw Pepe in my eye. Why is my eye red? That was real scary. I is it lack of sunlight or what? Really it's time for me to sleep. But I hope you guys really enjoyed the conversation that we had today. I felt like this video was a bit of a more serious side to myself. Because um, I felt like these questions were questions that people really needed help with. However... I'm about to get stupid. In my upcoming videos, be expecting the funnier side to me. I just got real real with this one because it's late. I feel like I'm a bit tired. But I just had to pull true for you guys because you guys are my new family. You guys are the Monet family. Do you get it? The Monet family. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that if you need questions answered like today, or advice given like today my messages are always open for you guys to come to me and I will help you as much as I can I really want to use this platform for something good as well as making people laugh so if you need any help in this life in this you know crucial time that we're really going through as well I just want to keep you guys happy positive and um, you know mainly happy so if you guys need anything at all, just look at my description box. My Snapchat is there, my Instagram is there. Feel free to send me a message and I will definitely promise, promise, promise reply to you guys. Um, and yeah, hopefully your apple crumble comes out beautifully. Nobody in my house even eats apple crumble like that, it's just me. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm meant to be on a diet, but we don't talk about that. Right now I'm looking like horrible tastic, but that's not a business. I think you should mind your business, but it's cool. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and my next video will be out very, very quickly because in this quarantine, I am bored as hell. I got nothing else to do.